How to Split Your Screen from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. So why would you want to split your screen? Well, splitting your screen allows you to see multiple windows simultaneously. So this works particularly well um, for breakout rooms in Google Meet. This would allow you to see multiple uh, rooms that students are meeting in at the same time so that you can easily monitor what's going on in each. It also works well if you want to um, have your Google Meet in one side of your screen and then that working document in the other. So that document might be the Jamboard that you are all working in together as a class or perhaps just your presentation. So that way you can see what your students are doing as well as that document. It also works well for um, student work being graded and then inputted into PowerSchool. So you would have your classroom integrated window open in one, in one side of your screen, PowerSchool in the other. So it makes for the easy transfer of grades. So how do you actually go about splitting your screen? We're going to go into three different options for you in this video. The first one is going to be using your keyboard controls. So this is using your Windows key and your arrow key. And you can see the Windows key is the one that looks like this. It just looks like that Windows 10 icon. And then, of course, your arrow keys that go to the left or the right. This is going to allow you to show up to two windows on your screen at the same time. Perhaps two windows isn't enough for you, so you're going to want to then use the manual method. This is going to allow you to drag and drop your tabs and resize them so that you can fit as many as you would like on your screen. And the number that you can get on there comfortably really decide, it depends on the size of the monitor that you're working with. And then finally, if you don't want to um, go through that, you can use the extension called Duelist. And that is something that you would install from the web store. And that is, again, going to allow you to see two windows side by side. So let's get started and take a look at how to do this. Option one is going to use our keyboard in order to split our screen into two separate windows. So the first thing you need to find your Windows key and your arrows key on your keyboard. The Windows key is going to be in that lower uh, row along with your space bar. And it's going to be between the function key and the alt key. Your arrow keys are going to be over onto the right hand side. And we're going to use the left arrow and the right arrow in order to lock our screens side by side. So to show this, you can see here I'm sitting on my class link page, but across the top, I'm currently a part of three different Google Meets. Now, if I had these as three separate Google Meet um, windows here with breakouts with students, I need to be monitoring what's happening in each of those rooms at the same time. Now, of course, here I could go through and I can click through each one. And if there were other students here with me in this Google Meet, they would be showing down the side and I'd be able to monitor. But I'd like to be able to see what's happening in both rooms simultaneously. So to do this, I'm going to split my screen. I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to grab my first Google Meet link here. And as when I click on that, I'm able to drag it out of the whole list of others. And it's now going to sit in its own separate window from the others. So I'm going to let that, okay, and now it's going to lock over here. And it's going to take up my whole screen, but I need it to only take up half of my screen. So how can I do that? Well, I'm going to use hit my Windows key and I'm going to hit my left arrow key. And you can see that has now minimized that window, so it's fitting and only taking up half of my screen. My other Google Meet is still sitting behind here, and I want that to be fully showing on the right-hand side of my screen. So to do that, I'm going to click back on my other window. Again, I still have all of my tabs here across the top, and I'm going to grab this one and do the exact same thing with it. But this time, rather than hitting my left arrow key, I'm going to hit my right arrow key. So again, Windows key, and right, and that's now going to be locked over onto my right hand side. You'll see it minimized my other window, so I just need to come to the bottom of my screen and find where that window is and then be able to pull it up side by side. So now I'm able to monitor two of my Google Meets simultaneously left and right. Of course, I can do this with other meetings, so I could have like two windows over on my right hand side, two windows on my left, and be able to juggle those back and forth. So that is our first option for how to split our screen. So the first option that we just went over allows us to see two windows simultaneously side by side. But what happens if you have more than that? Maybe you have three breakout rooms plus a document that you want to be able to see what the students are working on at the same time. So to do this strategy, we're going to be doing and resizing our windows manually. But it starts out the same way as with option one. And that is I'm going to grab my first Google Meet and I'm going to pull it out by itself. 
This is now again in a window by itself. So I'm going to come over here to my upper right hand corner and I'm going to use my button here that allows me to just kind of bring down that window a little bit. So you can see I have this one now sitting in front of all of my others, but I still can't really see everything. So all I need to do is I'm going to move my cursor over to the side or to the corner of my window and I can click and drag and resize my window so that I can fit multiple windows on my screen at once. So here's one window and then I'm going to do the same thing with my next one. So again, I'm going to kind of pull that out by itself and hit my square, my double squares over here in the top corner beside the close button. And then I can resize this window and you can notice that you can make these then different sizes to fit what it is that you're working with. So if you wanted your breakout rooms to be larger than the collaborative document, you could certainly do that. Um, you could have all of them be the same size. It's really just what's going to work best for you and the size of the monitor that you have to work with here. So I'm going to do my third Google Meet window here. And you'll see because I can't see all of them at the same time, I'm going to have to do some tweaking as I go through and do this. So it's always best to kind of have this set up ahead of time um, before you have your students join all of your various meets. So and then my last one here, I'm just going to do as a Jamboard. But this, of course, could be a fourth Google breakout room or anything else that you needed it to be. So now all I have to do to be able to see everything, I'm going to minimize everything down here and I just have to rearrange my windows. You can see I can see multiple ones at this time and just need to kind of play with it a little bit so that I can fit all of these windows on my screen simultaneously. So you can see it just requires a little bit more kind of play, if you will. However, it will allow you to see those multiple uh, windows simultaneously. And again, you're not then limited to just two. So our third and final option that we're going to go over is using the extension called Duelist. This is for those of you, if you're uncomfortable with that all resizing with your mouse or having to use your Windows keys, then Duelist might be the option that you want to go with. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to go to the Chrome Web Store and install the extension. Now, I have already had that installed, but this is what it's going to look like when you go to the Chrome Store. So it's D U A. L-L-E-S-S. -S. You will then have a blue box over here that says add to Chrome. Simply click on that and follow the directions on the screen to install the extension. It will then come up here to uh, your Omni bar across the top here and you're going to end up with a little icon that looks like two windows side by side. And when you click over that, you'll see that it says that Duelist extension. So how would we utilize this? Well, I'm going to go back to my Google Meet here. And again, this is going to allow me to have two windows side by side. So I have my first Google Meet here that I want to see. I'm going to click here on my extension. And Duelist is going to give me a variety of options on how I want to actually um, show my screen and the ratio. So you can see I have a 3 to 7, 4 to 6, 5 and 5 would actually be that 50-50 split. And that's what I'm going to use. So I can come here and you'll see as I move over, it highlights in yellow where I want each window to be. So in this case, I want this window to be over on my left. So I'm going to select the left square. And then it's going to automatically put another window side by side with that. Now I already had another window open. So here is that with my other Google Meet in that. So again, pull one window out and uh, or excuse me, one tab out of the window. So you have two separate windows and Duelist will put those side by side for you. Thank you for watching this video on how to split your screen. If you have any questions, please reach out to your school's eCoach, every school does have one, your OIT teacher specialist, or be sure to check out our AACPS Google resource pages that you'll find on ClassLink. And as always, remember to follow us on Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.